$10 versus $40 versus $200 versus $1,000 in Lego items. A few months ago, we did a $1 mystery box versus $500 mystery box, and today we're doing a $10 mystery box versus $1,000. All of this should be Lego items inside, and it should be incredible. And there's going to be a massive giveaway at the very end of this video, so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay to the end to find out how to enter. This video is sponsored by Brick Tactical, who supplied us with the $1,000 mystery box. Huge shout out to him. Thank you so much, my man. Link in the description below. Use code DAILY, D-A-L-E-Y, for free weapons and accessories with every order you purchase from him. Now let's crack into the $10 mystery box. Time to start ourselves off with the $10 mystery box. This one I purchased just from eBay and it said it was a $10 mystery Lego Star Wars figure, which is kind of a steep price for a single figure, so it better be decent. Let's check it out here. By the way, I will only be pricing authentic Lego pieces since customs are hard to price. And we have ourselves a Lego ARF Trooper. I feel like that's actually a pretty good deal. 10 bucks for a Lego ARF Trooper seems about right to me. There's our $10 mystery box. Now we're going to be increasing that amount by 4x with my very own Daily Bricks mystery box. I pre-make these, so this was just selected from a random pile of them already made. So everything we get in here is what you'd actually expect to get in a Daily Bricks mystery box. Link in the description below if you want your own. The base price for this is $40. Let's check out what we get. Okay, so there are three tiers in here, white, green, and red, plus your accessories and a couple bonus items that I include now. All right, let's go with our white one here. And what have we got? Uh... Okay, Minecraft Pillager. So this is our common minifigure from the white pile. Uncommon now. Should be a little bit more expensive. Ugh, there we go. And this one is going to be, oh, actually a Mandalorian from the uh, Mandalorian Battle Pack. Okay, that's not too bad. These are pretty cheap, but uh, a little bit more expensive. Before we get into our red rare pack, let's check out the uh, accessories here. So a lot of these are custom molded weapons. We got some like M4s in there. Oh yeah, beautiful with ACOG sights, grips. Also some like visors from the 501st battle pack, a Beretta, a little uh, $100 bill. We got money, baby. We made 60 bucks net worth. Let's go. This AUG is actually sick. And yeah, a bunch more uh, modern weapons, grenades, stuff like that. Pretty cool. All right, for the red one, let's check it out. Rip the seal right there, baby. Crack her open, and we have ourselves... Ah, that's, that's pretty decent. Uh, this is a custom United Bricks. Uh, this might be the Romanian soldier, I think. Either Hungarian or Romanian World War II soldier right there. That's a solid get right there. And to cap it off, uh, I started about a month ago adding in uh, random Star Wars trading cards to every single pack. And then there's the card right there. I'm really excited about this next one. It is a $200 mystery box from LF Minifigs. I purchased this from him for $200. Let's check it out. We gotta go for the big tear. There we go, baby. All right, take all that out, and I'm already seeing a Lego set. Very nice. Let's check this out. So uh, this, this actually appears to be a Mandalorian battle pack. That's pretty nice. So not only do we have the green Mandalorian trooper, we have another one right in here from uh, this Mandalorian battle pack. That's pretty nice right there. Next up, it looks like we have a few small accessory packs. Uh, so this first one looks like Clone Army Customs, and uh, it appears to be a, a few commando backpacks. So we have a red commando backpack, a standard commando backpack, and then a uh, gold regular backpack. We've also got some helmets here. Uh, this looks like Hauser. Yeah, I think this is from a Hauser trooper. We've got a Geonosis Commando. That is sick. And these are Clone Army Customs. Just check the tag. And this is like a Commander Cody Commando. That's super unique. And finally, this is a clone gunner helmet, but that looks like Keeley's helmet, actually. So if Keeley was a clone gunner, that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a nice lot of uh, helmets there. Now the rest appears to be minifigures. Uh, so let's check these out. They're all individually wrapped. First of all, we have ourselves an assassin droid. Then we've got a phase one clone trooper commander. I think this is from the battle pack. Oh, there we go, this is sick, okay. We have ourselves some clone army customs, baby. 
And this appears to be a 442nd Siege Battalion Trooper, but he's got like the Wolfpack emblem on him. So it's like a custom 442nd Wolfpack Trooper. Then it looks like we've got ourselves a Captain Lock Trooper. Again, I'm only gonna be flashing prices for official Lego product, but I will say Clone Army custom stuff ranges from 20 to $30. So, I mean, those are, those are solid gets. Any high-end custom trooper like this, yeah, even if it's not Clone Army Customs, a high-end custom is anywhere from $20 to $40. Next up, we've got a Stormtrooper. I've never seen this Stormtrooper before, though. What is this from? This isn't custom, is it? It's got a jetpack, and then the front of it's got like all these blaster marks on it. It's a very cool Stormtrooper. This is pretty sick. Um, is it custom? No, it's it's got the Lego trademark on the interior of the helmet right there, so it's not a custom. Is it decaled? No, it, it doesn't feel like pad printing or anything like that. This, I think this is an authentic Lego. I've just never seen it before, but it looks sick. Next up, we've got ourselves a resistance fighter right here. Uh, it's not Poe Dameron, and Poe Dameron is about the extent of my knowledge on resistance fighters. So, random resistance fighter, nice. Oh, this one is non-Star Wars here, but we do have a Medieval Knight. That's actually pretty sick. I haven't collected uh, Lego Knights since like 2008, so I don't know what's custom and what's authentic Lego. It's got the Lego mark right there. This is a really nice sword for Lego to make. <laughs> Usually their authentic swords and stuff like that are not that cool, but that one looks sick. And then he's also got himself a shield. This, this dude is baller. Heading back into the Star Wars arena here, it looks like we have ourselves a pirate of some kind. Uh, yeah, I would think that this is a a Star Wars pirate. I, I don't know who this is though. Oh, but I don't know who this is. We've got the Armorer Baby. This is actually a really solid figure to get, and I would put this on the list of figures that I would consider investing in for the future. I think the Armorer is going to be one of those minifigures that goes up in value quite a bit. We've got some more Clone Army Customs, which is always really nice to see, uh, and this looks like Clone Commando Fixer to me, although a little bit more elaborate in the detailings there. Yeah, this might be like a more elaborate fixer. No custom head underneath, but still a really solid fig. Next up, another fig I do know. That's going to be Ahsoka. I believe that is the Ahsoka from the AAT Armored Assault Tank. So not the rarest Ahsoka, but still a very nice Ahsoka to have. And then we've got ourselves a 501st Trooper to go with her. This is probably the variant of the 501st Trooper you want to be getting in a mystery box beyond the very original one. Uh, these guys from the 501st Battle Pack from 2020 are worth just a little bit more than the Battle Pack that's out right now. But that's just because there's, uh, you know, recency to the one. This one is retired now, so it's a little bit harder to find, but they're still very available. Oh boy, oh mama, we've got ourselves some weapons here. Very nice. These look like Clone Army Customs guns. Yeah, I believe I recognize these as uh, CAC. <laughs> We've got ourselves a DC-15C. Another one. Uh, that's going to be an E-11 right there. Is this the flamethrower or the scuba gun? I don't remember. Dual wheel DC-17s. And finally, this is the Westar M5 ARC Trooper gun, right? I think. Then that's weapons. Now we've got maybe 10 or so more figures to finish off, and we're starting off with another Clone Army Customs fig. I love seeing these guys. Yeah, this one is a Shock Trooper right here. This is a really clean fig, too. This one is nice. I like this Shock Trooper, bro. Yeah, let's, let's continue down the Clone Army Customs train. We've got ourselves Arc Trooper 5s right here. Very nice. Okay, this is pretty sick. This is an all orange printed Darth Vader. This is really cool. I know some people collect Lego in all the different colors. Um, I think this is a custom one. This didn't come from the uh, Mexico factory or anything like that, but it's still pretty cool to see. Then uh, we've just got a B1 Battle Droid. <laughs> <laughs> we have this lineup of epicness and then uh, B1 battle droid. Then it looks like we do have ourselves an ARC trooper right here. Very nice. We can use that uh, West Star gun if we need to. Oop, lost his helmet attachment. This guy is looking spiffy. That's a very nice uh, ARC trooper right there. That could be Water Fountain Boy if you guys have ever watched Rico's Brigade over on Daily Tactics. Then we've got ourselves a Rebel Trooper. Possibly from the Hoth Battle Pack. I'm not entirely sure where that trooper came from. There's so many Hoth Lego sets at this point. There's a lot of them. Oh, and speak of the devil, we do have another Hoth trooper. Oh, this is the mustachioed man. And then, this has been a very 
Mandalorian heavy day. We've got ourselves an orange Mandalorian here. Very nice. I, I'm not complaining. I always like to get Mandalorians. Then we've got two final figures here, and let's reveal them. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a Sith Jet Trooper right there from the First Order, uh, as well as a Dark Trooper from the Mandalorian right there, too. Not too bad. I would say that all in all, this was a really good mystery box. <laughs> Probably my favorites right now are going to be the 65th Course on Guard Shock Trooper right there, or the Armorer, or this Stormtrooper back here who I'd just never seen before and he looks sick. I also really like the Medieval Knight too. And here's LF Minifig's information if you would like to purchase from him. Okay, now this is oh, what I am most excited for. Again, this video is sponsored by Brick Tactical. He sent us this $1,000 mystery box. Use code daily on his website, link below to check him out. He has some of the greatest Lego store items I've ever seen. I buy from him all the time for my videos. Highly recommend bricktactical.com, link in the description. Let's crack into this bad boy and see what we got. There's a lot of items in here, holy smokes. Why don't we go ahead and start off with the item that just caught my eye right off the rip is a bag of troopers. Oh yeah, okay, this is, um, this is insane. What the heck? Well, there we go. We have a plethora of old school second phase troopers. Got some like phase one pilots, Captain Locke troopers, some storm troopers in here. 501st troopers, old Republic troopers. This is, this is a haul right here. I don't even know how to price this. I mean, probably each of these troopers is between the 10 to $15 range. There's like 25 soldiers, so... We're looking at at least $200 in soldiers right here. Give or take, that's that's a lot of soldiers. But next up, he he just sent us an entire pre-built German half track. This is sick. Okay. All right, well, we've got a German half track now. That'll come in handy. And and then there's this which appears to be a massive bag filled to the brim with accessories. Let's check it out. Firstly, we have an M2 machine gun right here with 15 modular different parts. Wow. I might have to go ahead and tuck this one away for our next illegal Lego weapons video because this, this is awesome. Oh, 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 okay, all right. No, he didn't just send us one. Uh, he sent us six and all in different camouflaged weapon variant colors. Oh my god, so we have like gunmetal. That was the black variant. This is tan. Uh, looks like a second, oh no, that's like an olive green actually. It's really hard to see in this light. Yeah, like an olive green. And then we've got a white and uh, another variant of tan, but like a little darker tan. That was pretty sick, but he also went ahead and sent us a color of every single Boba Fett helmet. Wow. That's a lot of Boba Fett helmets. Not only that, we've got a ton of accessories here. I heart brick tactical, I do indeed. I do, I, I heart brick tactical indeed. Let's, let's get that in the background there. We've got ourselves a few different weapons here. So this is looking like an M1 Garand, and then this is looking like a car 98k these are very detailed also got an m14 from the vietnam war a vast variety of modern weapons i have to say i think this vector might be my favorite of the bunch here a bunch more modern weapons here and i have to say this tactical battle axe yeah that's pretty that's pretty cool he's also sent us the ray gun from cod zombies and is this like the newer ray gun or something like that i stopped playing cod zombies at like black ops 2. also got some red spartan armor and master chief armor and this might be my favorite from the pack but a highly accurate dark saber let's go that's sick now continuing on the cod zombies train he's also sent us a juggernaug station a speed cola station a double tap station a quick revive station a pack-a-punch station and then coolest of all is the zombie bus driver from blops 2 wow so uh a lot of cod zombie stuff which is pretty sick and it looks like we have a blaster pack and this is just chock full of different Star Wars weapons. This is pretty incredible. I might save this for our next Lego Star Wars accessories video that we do, uh, cause this looks like it is jam full of them. Okay, then we've got ourselves some brick tactical plates here, which is kinda cool. These would actually be kinda nice in mocks in like modern cities. You could have this as like a little shop or something like that. that 
that's kind of neat, but it's just a fun little piece of merch, I think. He does have a YouTube channel as well, uh, and his YouTube channel pops off, man. He, he's got great videos over there. Okay, for the final two weapons, we have a dual blaster cannon. This is like what the CIS uh, battle droids used, I think, as like their e-web turret. And then a quad blaster pack. Bro, these are nutty. Again, I want to save these for future videos, especially because this video will get very long if I open up every single item he sent me, because these are insane. But now, I think we're getting to the most exciting part of this pack, which is the minifigures. Let's rip into them. Oh, scratch that, I missed a bag, yeah. This mystery box is getting bigger and bigger, but we have a saber pack here with 34 different unique custom printed lightsabers and blades. Okay, yeah, that. this is why we're saving some for future videos, because this is insane. Not only that, there's a saber hilt pack here, which has five random saber hilts and blades, so it seems like, you know, if you want the guaranteed all of the blades, you get this pack. If you want just sort of like a random assortment, you get this one, but that's so cool. Then we've got our ourselves a couple of zombie head packs. Yeah, we've seen these in our zombie apocalypse videos, uh, but this one is the gore head pack. That is disturbing. <laughs> Uh, and this one is the standard zombie head pack, which is pretty neat. Okay, this one is absolutely terrifying. We have the clown head pack V2, which is all clown heads. I am scared of clowns. Call me a coward, call me what you will. I don't mess with clowns. What's way cooler than clowns is a helmet pack here with 20 assorted different helmets, uh, and they all look World War II based, which is pretty sick actually. That'd be very nice for outfitting soldiers. Now we're getting into the minifigures, and for the first one here, we have the weapon. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is Cortana from Halo, but she's looking very nice. Next up, we've got the classic Merc, obviously. This is Deadpool right here with his double katanas. Very nice. I think these are all custom printed by him, by the way. Okay, now this one's pretty awesome. The Galactic Padawan, and it's Cal Kestis from Jedi Knight Jedi. This looks like Fallen Order, his outfit, I will say. I don't think it's Survivor, but you can see he does have his lightsaber in there too. Then, uh, this is a unique one. We've got Hacksaw Ridge here. I don't think this is the main character medic because he's not wearing a medic's outfit. I think this is more or less just a, a Pacific War soldier. But, I mean, still pretty cool. Also, I noticed there's a 72 out of 100 at the bottom. Does that mean that this is a unique character? that he only printed 100 of? If so, that would be very, very cool. Oh, I missed a head pack. This is the ski mask head pack. And you guessed it, it's full of ski masks. <laughs> so if you really need a bank robbery to go well, you need this head pack. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Uh, we do have ourselves a Space Marine, AKA Master Chef, Master Chief, Gordon Ramsay himself. And we do have a Warfare Operator. Uh, I believe this is Ghost from Call of Duty Modern Warfare, correct? This might be my favorite. We have the cook and the lab partner. Yo, Mr. White. We got ourselves Jesse Pinkman and Walter White here from Breaking Bad. That's sick. I love how Jesse has like a little Lego skull on his shirt. <laughs> these are awesome, man. I love these. Okay, next up we got Backseat Driver. I think this is Goose from Top Gun. It's been a minute since I've seen Top Gun and I never saw the sequel, uh, but I think that's who this is. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. These two are pretty incredible. We've got Stoner Bob over here, which is Jedi Master Bob, but with weed all over him. <laughs> and that might be a glow in the dark lightsaber. I think it is, oh my god. <laughs> and then Blazed Merc, which is a 420 Deadpool. My god. <laughs> we do live in a society. Aha, okay, I found the Tom Cruise one. This is Maverick from Top Gun, okay. This is Qui-Gon, but if he fought in the Clone Wars. That's really a unique fig. Then this is a dark side guard, so like a Jedi Temple guard, that switched to the dark side. That's super creative. And that was all that was in the mystery box. Uh, I say that was all as if that wasn't a massive mystery box from Brick Tactical right there. Holy cow, look at this mountain of customs and then some awesome official Lego. I do indeed heart Brick Tactical. BrickTactical.com if you wanna go purchase yourself some Lego inventory. Use code DAILY for freebies on checkout. So guys, we started our adventure here with a simple $10 Lego mystery box. 
We moved on to a $40 Lego mystery box, then a $200 Lego mystery box, and finally an incredible $1,000 Lego mystery box. Now let's get a giveaway going here. This entire pile of stuff is what we're going to be giving away in today's video. So we've got Lego Clone Shock Trooper, 501st, some Stormtroopers, Orange Darth Vader, Clone Army Customs helmets, uh, some droids in there, some Clone Army Customs weapons, uh, Dark Troopers in there, the Clown Heads, because I want to get rid of those, I Heart Protectical Sign, and some other stuff too. A pretty sizable lot. All you got to do is comment down below which of these mystery boxes you think was the best. Can be for any reason, just comment down below which of these uh, you think was the best. Be sure to also hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on to be entered in to win the giveaway and it will be announced in next week's video. I also wanted to thank all of our channel members for continuing to be channel members. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want your name shown in every video that I make, be sure to join the channel Link in the description below, or just click that join button next to the subscribe button. Either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.